Nintendo just announced a new Mario Kart game for the Switch, and that game is Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. While it's definitely not a traditional Mario Kart, it's a really interesting and cool idea to have a Mario Kart in real life. This is literally a Mario Kart game you can play from the comfort of your own home. At first glance, the game looks pretty straightforward. Create a track and race in your own home. But the thing is, there's much more to it than that. And in this video, we'll be uncovering everything about Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit is a brand new kind of Mario Kart game we've never seen before. Rather than being your standard kart racer, this game is an augmented reality game. If you're unaware of what those are, augmented reality or AR games use a camera to capture your surroundings, and from there, things such as models, textures, and music are added, so you're essentially playing a game in real life. The best examples of this were the 3DS's AR games and the wildly popular Pokemon Go. Now the thing with AR games is they're not as complex as regular games, and some people might be worried that this is Mario Kart 9, or Nintendo is using precious development time making this instead of Mario Kart 9. But have no fear because VLAN Studios is here. VLAN Studios is an American company formed in 2016, specializing in AR technology. Not only does this make Mario Kart Live Home Circuit one of the few Mario Kart games not primarily developed by Nintendo in-house, but the only Mario Kart game developed by a North American developer. Pretty cool! They're handling most of the development, and Nintendo is likely just overseeing the game to make sure it fits the quality of standard. But when it comes to the game itself, here's what you need to know. The roster in Mario Kart Live Home Circuit is the smallest we've ever seen in a Mario Kart game. The only playable characters are Mario and Luigi. That's even less than Mario Kart Arcade GP VR, which at least had Peach and Yoshi. But the thing is, it makes sense, considering that the carts are expensive, and having more than two characters would probably make you go broke. But along with Mario and Luigi, the Koopalings will be racing against you as opponents. Every Koopaling is here along with Bowser Jr., proving that he is indeed a Koopaling. There could also be more opponents down the line, but these are the only ones we've seen. But there are two things that set the Koopalings apart from Mario and Luigi. The first thing is that they are holograms. They might not look like it in-game, but the official renders depict them as holograms, while Mario and Luigi are not. I wonder if they eat holographic meatloaf. Could there be a story here? Maybe EGAT is testing out a new sort of technology and created Koopaling holograms Mario and Luigi could race against. Just an idea I'm throwing out there. But beyond that, I want you to take a closer look at the Koopaling's carts. You see the wheels right there? After an absence in Mario Kart Tour, it appears anti-gravity is back. That means that the Koopalings will be able to race on walls, upside down, and add a little bit of an obstacle to racing. Though it seems that Mario and Luigi won't be able to use anti-gravity, but considering you're using RC carts, ah, uh, you get the idea. Now when it comes to tracks, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit is yet again unlike any other Mario Kart, because you are the track creator. The way the game works is you assemble numbered gates, and put them around your house and create a track like that. Lakitu now expanded his role from the referee into the mess maker by pouring paint on Mario and Luigi's carts so they can create the track. That's the way to create the core of the track, but as with every Mario Kart, Home Circuit also has obstacles. We've seen Freezies, an 8-bit Goomba, a piranha plant that spits out blue goo, and Kamek. But the question is, will these obstacles be placeable manually, or will they be placed automatically? Maybe after Mario and Luigi paint the track, a video is recorded that creates a 3D workspace where you can place obstacles manually. But because this game is going to be easy to set up and user-friendly, items could potentially be placed automatically. Could go either way here. Even though Home Circuit puts an emphasis on creating your own tracks, it appears to have 8 Grand Prix Cups. Could this game have pre-made tracks? We'll have to wait until we get more details, but it's worth bringing up. Along with creating the tracks comes themes. The blurb on the website says, Watch as your home is transformed into ocean depths, a sandy desert, and more from the world of Mario Kart. And we have images too. We can see here that this is the ocean theme, this is the desert, and this is a lava track. But wait a minute, hold up right there. Did you just see what I saw? That's right! Costumes will be in the game for Mario and Luigi. What's interesting is that these costumes appear in track themes that correlate with them. We have Pirate Mario underwater, Explore Mario on the lava track, and Cowboy Luigi in the desert. And about that, Cowboy Luigi is a costume we haven't seen before. Don't give me hopes for Super Mario Odyssey 2, Nintendo. Since the game has a Grand Prix mode, these costumes will probably be unlockable through there. Or coins can be used to unlock them and you can spend them in a shop, or something along the lines of that. But another possibility is that depending on the theme, Mario and Luigi would wear costumes automatically, 
that fit the theme. More than likely though, they'll be unlockable. Finally, we have the items. Home Circuit has your typical Mario Kart items we all know and love. Bananas, shells, lightning, bullet bill, most of the main items are here. Except for a few. This is the first time in Mario Kart history that there are no green shells. Though the red shell is here, and let's be real, who wants a green shell? Triple variation shells are missing too, and just like in Mario Kart Tour, it appears a golden mushroom is a thing of the past. But if there's one thing that changed, it's the blue shell. After a nearly 12 year absence, the blue shell has wings again, just like it did in Mario Kart Wii. This means that it won't hit players behind whoever's in first place, like the non wing blue shell. I just hope that doesn't mean I'll be getting hit by one five times in a single race. Curse you, Mario Kart Wii item balance. But what's even more interesting is there's an item that hasn't been seen since Double Dash in a console Mario Kart, the Chain Chomp. We've established that the Bullet Bill is in the game, so the question is, why have two of the same item? After all, the Chain Chomp was a precursor to the Bullet Bill in terms of function. Here's how it'll probably work. In the Mario Kart arcade games, there is a Chain Chomp item you can throw, and it goes crazy around the track. Essentially, you're throwing the Chain Chomp after it breaks off Baby Mario and Luigi's Kart. But other than that, items will maintain the way they have always worked in Mario Kart Home Circuit. So far we've gone over everything you need to know about the game. We've gone over the roster, track selection, how making tracks could work, and items, but there are a few more things to uncover. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit will release on October 16th, 2020 for an MSRP of 99 US dollars, but will vary depending on your region. In the UK, it'll be priced at 99 pounds. There are two sets. There's a Mario set and the Luigi set. The only difference between the two is the RC cart will be either Mario or Luigi, depending on the set. I know I'm getting the Luigi one because Luigi is better than Mario in every way. You'll also get the gates that are used to make the tracks, arrow signboards to likely let players know where to go, and a USB-C charging cable. Not only does that mean Duracell and Energizer are upset right now, but it also means that yes, the carts will be rechargeable. The carts will last for an hour and a half at least, but depending on what CC you race in, the battery life could be longer. But there's one more extremely critical aspect I need to point out, and that's the fact that you need two switch systems and two carts to play in multiplayer. It doesn't matter if you have two controllers and two carts, you need two systems and two carts to play. That's really lame right there, but I want to inform you guys before you get the game, because that could be a deal breaker for a lot of people. It's really lame that Nintendo decided to do this, but it's something you need to know before picking up the game. So there you have it. Here's everything you need to know about Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. I'm looking forward to playing the game in just a little over a month, and expect more videos on it in the near future. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and keep calm and da da on.